All right, so, so for in this one, ladies and gentlemen, basically all we're going to be doing is practicing the valuing for f of negative 2, f of 0, and f of 1. So all you're simply going to do is, depending on what your new input value is, you're going to plug that input over to the rule to determine the output. So I have negative 2 squared minus 3 over negative 2. Negative 2 squared is equal to 4 minus 3 divided by negative 2. 4 minus 3 is 1. 1 divided by negative 2 is going to be a negative 1 half. Okay, So basically, we could say f of, f of negative 2 is equal to negative 1 half. All right. If we have f of 0, you're going to have 0 squared minus 3 divided by 0. Now, we're going to talk about this a little bit more extensively in class um, today. However, we cannot divide 0 into anything. So therefore, this would be undefined. Or you could say, you know, yeah, you can't define the solution to that. And then let's do f of 1. So in this one, you'd have 1 squared minus 3 divided by 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 3 is negative 2 over 1, which equals negative 2. Now, one thing I just want to mention, guys, we're plugging in, you know, here's originally for x. We're evaluating for numbers. But just remember, this could be anything. This could be another letter. This could be an expression. Or this could be another variable. Or it could even be another function. We'll learn about that stuff later. But just remember, the idea of whatever, this, whatever your input is, you plug it into your input of your rule, like that process, we're going to be doing that. But it's going to get, it's going to get a little bit more like crazier later. So just remember the process. Hopefully this is something that was fairly basic for you to start off with.